Take a look at your screen. Under AB 469, schools would have control over 80 percent of their budget, while the district would have control over 15 percent. If this passes or if they decide to follow it, this is going to give a principals the ability to really control their budget, select their own staff and even purchase services. This morning, though, we are hearing back from Dr. Jesus Hara. He says that there is a need to make changes in the district to be in compliance with this state law, but he also wants to make it very clear that CCSD has been working towards that goal all along. Still, some people say it is taking way too long to see changes. There's no reason why this law can't be implemented. This is simply the district doesn't want to do it. The reason for this bill was to put more power to schools and there was conversations of having breaking up the school district. You're seeing those conversations reemerge. Members of the state board said if this school district did not implement this law, that would probably happen. You've seen that process started. I hope this board understands that if it does not follow the law, the public will decide if this board would exist. We need to put those dollars to the schools. Now, the Nevada State Board of Education discussed some hard consequences for CCSD's noncompliance, including intervening in the district and possibly removing Superintendent Jara and the Board of Trustees. Many current school board members say they were not on the board, though, when this law was passed. So right now they are asking for more time and even some educational sessions so they can learn how to implement this correctly. I'm reporting live this morning, Elizabeth in court, 13 Action News.